Hi, I'm Tanya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am standing in front of the parking lot that will be absolutely full because the parking's free. Vintage Antique Flea Market in Sacramento. Sorry about the noise. It does take place underneath the freeway. It is amazing. If you haven't been here with us before, uh, you are in for a treat. I look at everything. I'm going to show you everything that's here because there is so much to see and I love it all. I do have a list of things that I'm looking for personally and hopefully I'll be able to knock some of those things off my list. I will share those with you as we go. Also, if this is the first time to my channel or if you just haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe because I've got so many more of these coming. There's one every month. Also, it is yard sale season and I have so many to show you. I cannot believe the amazing yard sales I have found this year. I was worried I wouldn't be able to top last year, but so far they're looking pretty good. So be sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos or any more of these flea markets because they are something you are not going to want to miss. Oh, and stick around till the end to see my haul. This cute little booth is usually here. It's a great place to buy refurbished furniture or to get some ideas if you want to refurbish your own. There's usually tons of glass here, but I was really surprised there wasn't much this time. Ah, those neon blue compotes, I needed those in my life. I can't believe I passed those up. I didn't even see them. I mean, I saw them, but I didn't see them. You know what I mean? So much to look at. There they are, absolutely beautiful. I really should have picked up some of these film tins because they would be so cute on a bookcase or a shelf. Unfortunately, that didn't occur to me until I was already home and editing. Look how cute these little parasols are, too. Crystal decanters are on my pickup list, so I might double back for these. How cute is this rug? This was my first heart crush of the day. It was already sold. This is apparently the sold pile. And I was hurrying up. I think I was I have a serious problem. I cannot help looking in people's carts. I am just always so curious what other people have bought. Spoiler alert, this 1800s baby came home with me. If you follow me on TikTok, you already saw it. I really wish I would have taken this home with me. Look at it, it's huge. These sweet little swan salt and pepper shakers and these adorable little Art Deco style salt and pepper shakers. I could seriously start a salt and pepper shaker collection. I'm obsessed with them.
full lead hand blown crystal decanter from Poland. $10. Swoop. This exact decanter was priced at $55.99 on eBay. Can you believe how cute these little Siamese cats are? There's little plant holders and then the salt and pepper shakers. This booth had the most adorable littles and smalls. I should have just bought everything. I can't believe I didn't. So this is all part of the fun for me. Over there. Did you? I gotta look closer, huh? How much did you pay for these? Six for the food. Six for the wow. Get back to you. Then of course I had to show her mine just in time to accost some more perfect strangers about their purchase. It's just so exciting when everyone's getting great deals. That's incredible. And you got all three for 50, you said. Yeah. Woo! This booth is super cute, but it was the most exciting because I found something I really, really wanted here. This little retro for my table was so cute, but the taxidermy was for real freaking me out. <laughs> And here it is, my biggest win for the day. Oh, I was so excited. I have been looking for globe swagger pendant lamps for the longest time. Ever since I saw this crystal one on first dibs, not paying that. These are cute too, not paying that either. They're going in my bedroom, so these little ones were too little, unfortunately. I did pick up these larger ones, and it was all I could do to stop myself from doing cartwheels. I was so unbelievably excited. I was giddy. There was a chandelier there that I should have picked up too, but I just had absolute tunnel vision. It's cute. So cute. The only thing I'm kicking myself about is that I really should have picked up both sets of globe lamps. I know I'm going to regret that later. Are you seeing these keys? I can think of zero excuses to buy an antique cash register, but I've always really wanted one. Also found myself desperately needing this Art Deco neon sign for no apparent reason at all.
I vaguely remember seeing these little teapot purses everywhere, but I can't remember when it was. If you remember, can you please put it down in the comments? I'm just gonna appreciate looking at it. Dorothy I mean, Thorpe, huh? That's it's wonderful. Sweet. Dorothy it? Thorpe. Dorothy Thorpe did it. She did a lot of glass with it etched in in different colors and stuff. She did fabulous things. But this one I've seen for seven fifty. Seven fifty, and how much were you selling it for? Two ninety five. Two ninety five. I mean, I'll just put it. Someone's gonna get it, but yeah, I just kind of like keeping it. They have the um, plates, they have all kinds of things, and the lamps are harder to find, but this is what oh, they okay. have, the Royal Copenhagen. And they have, um, we'll call it still. But there they have go. the seagulls, and they have the different birds, and they have, and a friend of mine collects them. Oh. This is in North Carolina, but they're just amazing. I really wish I would have picked up the oil painting that was on the left because the colors were so striking. As usual, a day at this flea market is filled with amazing finds and haunting regrets. And speaking of regret, this mid-mod lamp, amazing. How did I not take this home? What was I thinking? German Dachshun 40s teapot. Super cute. Did not ask them how much they wanted for it. Should have. This is a repeat vendor, and I know that he usually continues to take things out of his truck throughout the day. So I waltzed on over and took a peek at what was left in the truck. Wow. Vintage McCoy cookie jar. I think they wanted $25 for it, and it's an easy 50 bucks on eBay.
Um, hello, Tufted Beauty. And check out these rattan and brass chairs. I mean, wow. This vendor really has some AbFab mid mod. Amazing. But it's so, so incredibly cool. Sadly, my camera is not picking up all the sparkles in this Murano glass. It is absolutely stunning in person. Stunning. Chairs are amazing. Look at those. Wow. This is a set of six Brown Saltman high back chairs. 1960s, they need to be restrapped. Yeah. But I'm not going to do them. How, how, much, how much are you selling them for is the magic question, right? This could be a big flip for someone. He's selling them for $200, and look what they sold for. Underneath, there's, uh, there's screws. Take out the four screws in the box strapping or the Swedish strapping or something. You know what I mean? No, it's, it's not hard to do. It just takes time. You know, although I could knock them out because I've done so many. Okay. Then you got to take the staples out, get the fabric off, uh -huh. and redo this strap. Is that part hard? No, all they do is they go under and they staple on. Okay, and it's Pirelli, you said? It's called Pirelli strapping, yeah. But you could do, you could do pretty much anything. Okay. I mean, a lot of times, if you go to some fabric stores that have seat belt, seat belt strap, ah, same okay. thing. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Get a tight chair, get it an ace. You put a clamp on these things, squeeze it into the crack, you'll see it suck in there. Okay. And then 15 minutes, they're set up and ready to go. And it's called tight chair. A tight okay. chair, not chair. Okay, let me say that. There's a little bag. Okay, so little not. Here chair tight yes. it has to be tight chair, tight chair. okay we'll do three chairs it's ten dollars a bottle and one bottle will do three chairs right okay fyi some of the best deals that i come across are from upholsterers who have too many projects backed up and they want to just unload some of the stuff they don't want to do the work on them I'm dragging this tufted bench home and I have a small car. I'll have to make several trips to take home what I already got. So I am going to pass on those chairs today, which is unfortunate because the fabric alone on those chairs was to die for. And stitched Norman Rockwell scene. Aww.
Shirley Temple and Jean Withers.
So this I almost bought. This is Daybreak by Maxfield Parrish. I have been really wanting this print, but something in me told me to wait. And it's a good thing that I did because I ended up finding one at a yard sale of all places. An amazing yard sale at that. That video will be out later this month. That was such an amazing trip. I can't even believe how lucky I got. I knocked so many things off my list. Um, this is gonna be a two-parter as usual, so I'm gonna just show you the big stuff that I got this time uh, so that I can have a haul at the end of each one. And the first thing I wanna show you is the thing that made me the happiest, and that is... <gasps> These, oh my goodness. Wow, right, right? So the ones that I was looking at were crystal and these are most definitely not crystal, they're just glass. You can tell by the sound, but I don't care. I didn't need crystal. I just needed much cheaper than they were going for on first dibs. And I am so excited. They're huge and they're really heavy. So they're gonna be a challenge to hang from my ceiling. They are definitely gonna be a challenge. Um, but I will figure it out. It's not gonna beat me. I want them. I will have this done. It's happening. And here's the other one. They're so cute. I can't even believe it. Ah, oh, they're better than I imagined. They really are. I love them. Here are the lights. The globes have been cleaned, but not the metal. I haven't gotten around to that yet. So that's up next. So pretty though. Look at that. And there they are put together. I cannot wait to get these babies hung up and look at this chain. I am so in love with this chain. Look at that. Beautiful. So exciting. Oh, and I paid under $100 for them, not well over a thousand. But I should tell you, they came straight through that vendor to me, specifically for me from the universe, because she said that they had literally just taken them out of a house the day before. The day before they cleared a house and I was the first one who saw them. Someone came behind me and bought the, the smaller ones, which I should have grabbed too. But apparently, you know, sometimes that's why those were meant for her. I got the ones that I needed. She got the ones she needed. Everything worked out, right? So exciting. I am so excited. I can't even believe it. The other stuff that I got was quite big. So I will show you that. I haven't been really showing you where I put these things in my house because I don't always know yet sometimes, but these had very specific places that they were going. So everything I'm thrifting right now is for my room, my bedroom. I'm redoing everything. I was super excited to find all of these pieces and I can't wait to show you my whole room once it's done. I'm really excited about it. I don't know if anybody cares, but I, I'm excited to just share it once because I've gone through so much hunting to find what I wanted specifically. So it's been an adventure. It's hard to curate. It's, it's, it takes some time and it takes some doing, but I feel like it's worth it. I get what I really, really want, something I really love. And it just makes every piece something that matters or that is special to me. 
Okay, so here is my beautiful bench. I'm so excited. It's going right there eventually. It needs some serious cleaning up. I will show you. All of that needs to be cleaned up. And the fabric needs a real haul. That is why I didn't feel like recovering or reupholstering the chairs. <laughs> Got enough work to do here, so. And then all of that needs to be clean. I don't know if you can tell how filthy it is, but it needs a lot of work. As you can see, my bedroom is still a great big work in progress. I am still fighting with the curtains. <laughs> they need to be hung. Uh, sorry, they need to be hemmed. I finally got them hung and starched and all of that good fun stuff. I'm having a heck of a time figuring out how to focus light. Oh, maybe that worked. Is that better? Can you actually see the color now? When the light's coming in through the windows like that, it usually just blocks everything out. So just imagine the globe lights hanging from either side of my bed. And obviously I need a rug. That's still on my list. And here's my dresser, dreamy. Still needs to be cleaned, but look at how pretty the details are. Look. I love how it bows. So pretty. And that's it for my large haul pieces, but next time you'll see the small ones and Wow, I really have a lot stacking up to show you, honestly. I have been to yard sales, estate sales. I have been thrifting like crazy, and I have all those videos to show you this month. It's yard sale season, so we will be doing a lot of that from now on. As long as there's sun, we will be yard sailing and still doing all the other thrifting that we love to do. I am just so grateful that you all come with me and keep me company and I couldn't be happier or feel more blessed than to have you all with me. I adore you all and until next time, happy thrifting.